Bill Harwood joins us to tell us more. And Bill, we were talking about earlier, this is something that will have a significant role uh, in moving forward, not only with SpaceX, but NASA has ties to SpaceX. And do we know anything more about the launch pad and how badly uh, that was damaged? No, we, we really don't. I've seen some pictures since uh, we talked last, and it looks like it's it's very extensive damage, as you might expect when a when a huge rocket like this explodes on the pad and all that fuel ignites, uh, the liquid oxygen and the kerosene and fuel. Um, I should say that we make sure everybody understands this is not a NASA launch. This is a purely commercial endeavor by SpaceX launching from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Certainly, folks at NASA at the nearby Kennedy Space Center were rocked by this explosion, uh, but they didn't have any direct contact with uh, what was going on this morning. Now, there was a satellite scheduled to launch Saturday. It was designed to connect parts of uh, the world to the web through Facebook's Internet.org, which is a free service. Any idea what it will take to bring that project back together? No, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting part of this story. Uh, it's not the whole purpose of this satellite. Some of the transponders would have been used for that. Uh, of course, the satellite would have been used for a lot of other things as well. Spacecom, the company in Israel that owns this satellite, had arranged to sell itself to a Chinese conglomerate. This was announced back in August, but that sale was pending the successful delivery of this satellite to orbit. So the company that owns the satellite uh, is certainly going to have some problems, and, and, and what they may or may not be able to do to replace this specific spacecraft, TBD. It's a, it's a tough day all around for those guys. And millions and millions of dollars lost, too. Uh, Bill, how many times had the Falcon 9 rocket which is the rocket we're talking about here that SpaceX was trying to launch today. How often had it been used? Um, I know right. the company is seeking to create these reusable rockets, and they had a pretty extensive schedule moving forward. Well, that's right. They've launched the Falcon 9 rocket uh, 28 times since 2010. They had one in-flight explosion. You might recall back in June of 2015, a space station-bound cargo ship was destroyed when the second stage of a Falcon 9 rocket failed during flight. This is the first time in recent memory down here at the Cape that I can recall when a rocket blew up on the launch pad. If that's what happened, and I should stress, we don't yet know if the rocket triggered this disaster or if it was a launch pad system that triggered and the rocket was lost in the process. Uh, those, are, those are facts we don't yet have, but certainly uh, I've never seen something like this in many years of covering rocket launches down here. Mm, that says something when it's Bill Harwood. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what, at least, the good news at least here is that there was no loss of life. Sure. So at least... Uh, you know, blow true. to the program but, uh, and money, but at least everyone survived. Well, Bill Harwood, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Sure thing.